The Sabrent Rocket Q4 2TB is a top-of-the-line M.2 SSD that uses the PCIe 4 interface and has an included heatsink. And not just any heatsink, but a proper heatsink, with no less than 3 copper-made heat pipes and plenty of metal to dissipate the heat of the SSD. The Sabrent Rocket Q4 2TB is one of those products that is recognized as the tip of the spear in terms of performance, because from the get-go everything points out to a general focus towards performance and cooling rather than design and marketing empty speech. The design of this SSD is what you can expect from Sabrent. It's very good and different than what other manufacturers are doing. Yes, it is just graphics on a label, but it's good graphics and simple graphics, not over-the-top nonsense that is used just for the sake of having something there. The Sabrent Rocket Q4 2TB is also accompanied by a fully fleshed heatsink, but more on that later on into the review. Going back to the design of this SSD, it's good and simple. The top part of the SSD is covered by a white and gold label, which contains the Sabrent logo on the center with the name of the SSD on the left side. The capacity of the SSD is also printed on the right side of the label. Speaking of this label, this is not just a label. As is the case with many high-end M.2 SSDs, the label has a metal or in this case pure copper layer that acts as a heatsink for the components of the SSD. It's not going to do a big deal of cooling, but it is something that will help in the long run, especially if you will not be using the included heatsink or what motherboard has in store for cooling. The Rocket Q4 2TB uses the standard 2284 factor, which means that the SSD has a width of 22mm and a length of 80mm. This makes it compatible with all M.2 SSD sockets available on the market, both desktop and laptops. In terms of the accessories, if you do decide to get the higher-end Rocket Q4 2TB, then you will also get this lovely heatsink to cool down your new PCIe 4 SSD. And this is a true heatsink, not some nonsense piece of metal that just looks good. This thing has a weight of no less than 87 grams by its own, and requires screws to attach itself to the SSD. Speaking of screws, you get plenty of those in the package and a dedicated Philips screwdriver. The internal components of the SSD will give us an idea of what performance to expect from the SSD and we start with the controller. In this case, the Rocket Q4 2TB uses a Fison made PS50E16, which is rebranded as a Sabrent PHSPT RKT401. This controller is one of, if not the first commercially available controller that officially supports the new PCIe Express 4.0 interface. More than that, this controller can handle up to 5GB of writing speeds, but that will depend on the rest of your components. The Rocket Q4 2TB has a total of 2GB of fast DRAM storage. This is provided by two Hynix made DRAM chips, which are installed on both sides of the PCB. These DRAM chips are DDR4 and are running at a frequency of 2666 MHz. The memory chips used on this SSD are made by Micron and are built using the 96 layer design. These are QLC type flash chips and have been used in many other high-end M.2 SSDs, including other Sabrent models. Installing the SSD is the same as with any other SSD. I will not include the installation of the heatsink for two reasons. First, because it's very simple and second, because some motherboards have their own heatsinks. Don't worry, I will cover the heatsink performance later on into the review. Going back to the SSD installation, it's very simple. You just insert it into the M.2 socket of your motherboard and secure it at the back with a screw which is included with your motherboard, not with the SSD. In my case, the motherboard has its own dedicated heatsink that will hold the SSD in place. Testing of the SSD is done on a Z390 platform using an i9-9900K CPU, an MSI RTX 2070 Super graphics cards and 16GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3600MHz. The testing starts with a basic file copy test. In essence, we are copying so files with a total size of 96GB onto the drive. This allows us to see not only the size of the cache of the drive, if it's small or not, but it also gives us an idea of how the drive performs in a daily use scenario. And in this test, the Rocket Q4 2TB maintained a speed of 1.47GB per second across the entire test, apart from the beginning where the speed was picking up its pace. 
The first synthetic benchmark used in this review is Crystal Dismark 8, a popular benchmark used by all users to test their storage devices. It's free software, easy to use and gives out good results and consistent results. And in this test, the Rocket Q4 2TB is at the top of the charts, next to the Silicon Power US 71TB, which is another PCIe 4.0 SSD. And it's the same case for the reads and for the writes. The next test is Atto Disk Benchmark, another popular benchmark for testing storage devices. However, this one is using multiple file sizes to determine how good your SSD is. And just like before, the Rocket Q4 2TB is on the first place, right above the Rocket Q. The third test is a game level loading test and the game used here is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, updated to the latest version and running at 1080p with all graphical settings turned up to their maximum values. In this test, the Rocket Q4 2TB scores a game level time of 19.9 seconds, just like a Rocket Q and the Neo Forza NF P075. In terms of temperatures, we go back to that heatsink, which is included with this model of SSD, but can be bought as a separate product. Without the heatsink, the Rocket Q4 reached a maximum temperature of 68 degrees Celsius, however, once the heatsink was installed, the temperature dropped to 56 degrees Celsius, a temperature drop of 12 degrees Celsius on average, which makes this heatsink worth the price, as 12 degrees is a lot in the world of M.2 SSDs. The Sabrent Rocket Q4 2TB is one of the best M.2 SSDs available on the market right now, not only because it's one of the few and first PCIe 4.0 SSDs that uses QLC flash chips, but because the performance offered is great. This drive uses Micron main memory chips and a brand new Fison made controller. In addition, the fast storage is done with the help of two SK Hynix RAM chips with a total capacity of 2GB of DRAM storage. The real world performance is great, with an average speed of 1.4GB per second. Of course, that can be even higher if your platform is PCIe 4 ready, such as the latest AMD platforms. The build quality is exceptional, with nothing to complain about, not even the label, which by the way will provide some passive cooling to the SSD, if you're not using the heatsink. Speaking of which, this heatsink is worth it. That is, if you are buying it separately. It's not only compatible with Sabrent SSDs, so it's worth the hassle to get one because it is a worthwhile investment. It works and it will drop the SSD temperatures with ease, however you must ensure that your motherboard allows you to use such a tall and heavy heatsink. The Rocket Q4 is good and will work great in both workstations and gaming systems. However, with a price of around 300 US dollars, this SSD is not exactly the cheapest of the lot, and based on the included accessories and the used internal components, it can't be. It all comes down on what you want from an SSD. There are PCIe 4.0 SSDs that are faster than this, but those are also much more expensive, and that makes the Rocket Q a bit of a deal in the grand scheme of things. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.